What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I think I'm gonna only dive primarily at dollar stores. Somebody commented and recommended this and I think it's a really fun idea. So I'm gonna go to mostly dollar stores, the $5 and under stores, dollar, general stores <laughs> I was trying not to say it and um, yeah pretty much all of the stores like that so we might go to like a few other retail shops just if I see anything uh, but primarily today we're gonna be dumpster driving at dollar stores so hopefully we find some good stuff and wish me luck First one. I'll take these, a couple of stands that help. Oh, this actually is not a dollar store. My bad. <laughs> okay, this is this store, but I am gonna go ahead and take these. But, oh, there's a little dead bird on the ground. Okay, well, my bad, that wasn't a dollar store. <laughs> okay, but I'm still gonna take these because they're gonna be helpful for me to like organize stuff in the garage, but oops. Okay, first off of the day, <laughs> not a dollar store, but I am guessing that that one right there is. So, all right, we're gonna go to the actual dollar store now. All right, nothing. Normally stores, they won't throw out product in these black bags. That's just what I've found. Normally it's clear bags if they're gonna have like good stuff in it. And normally the black bags are like lawn maintenance waste or like real trash. And that's what it's looking like in here. So there we go. Nothing from this first one, but that's number one. Headed to spot number two. <laughs> Number in this already. Yeah. Alright, nothing here. Next one. little pins. Those are cute. Oh, 
first find of the day is three little pins. They're all kind of, well, that one's broken. That one's little tops coming off. That one's fully intact. Okay, that might be it from here. Okay, that was, I think, stop number four. <laughs> and we finally found something, not really a great find, but something, so, all right. There we go, moving on. All right. This is a dollar store. And definitely getting a lot of chips. All of those. These poor friends. Whole bag of them. There's a beautiful saint candle. It's broken. Another one. Hmm, I don't know if I should take them or not. They could probably come out of the glass, but I'm gonna leave them. So there's those. Right. Awesome. So we got probably like 50 bags of chips. That's so awesome. Tortilla chips. Awesome. Okay. So it took like eight spots, but we found something. <laughs> All right. Nice. So a whole bunch of chips from a dollar store. Yay! And then the only other things are these tiny little broken pins. <laughs> but that's sweet. Okay, we found something. Yay! Awesome. That's enough chips. For sure we'll keep some and then I'll just donate all the rest of those. There's no reason for us to keep like 50 bags of chips to ourselves. So sweet. All right, there we go. Okay, this one, not a dollar store. Sorry, but I just want to check it because it's so full and I'm not sure what it is. These are like speakers. That's kind of a cool chair. That's trash, food trash. Dang, that actually is kind of a cool chair. Oh, there's a cop. Yeah, that wouldn't fit in the car anyways, but it's kind of cool. Oh well, okay. Dang. Lots of speakers. I was curious what that is, it's kind of cool. speakers are broken so I'm gonna leave them but I just wanted to check this one because it was so big there's like one taco rolled up <laughs> all right nothing at that one I might since I'm not finding anything at a lot of the dollar stores and I have been to like all of them that I can 
like route to. I've been all over Grapevine, all over Bedford. I'm now like in Flower Mound area, so I'm not really finding a lot of the dollar stores, so this might just end up being like a variety of stuff. Who knows? We're gonna find out and see, but I'm excited about today, so I wanna keep going. So, okay, well, we're gonna keep going. I might just be going to like retail shops after this, but we'll feel it out, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, this is a dollar store that's like split with a thrift store, I guess. And like, look at all of this stuff. This vest is like really cool. Pants. No, it's not real. Take both of those. Lots of dickies, which I'll actually leave. There's a lot of like homeless people around that might need actual like pants and I'd rather not sell them if they can use them. Cool, all right, well, we got two vests, not bad. All right, moving on. All right, let's see. That actually is something. There might be a lot of stuff in here, actually. There's so much stuff in there and I cannot get it out. <laughs> this clock has spray paint all over it. There's like this big thing right here. There's so many boxes in front of everything. Some of them are heavy. This one's empty, but this one's heavy. This is in there, this memory foam mattress, but this thing's in the way and this thing's in the way and I cannot get them out. Okay, this is that. Take the box for it. Oh my god, my phone fell into the dumpster. My tripod broke 
it goes back together but this little part's like removable and it literally broke and fell off in there oh my god i almost lost my phone okay i'm not gonna try to get anything else out of there it's really really full and like the boxes are super heavy i just can't get anything so whoo that scared me a lot okay but we got the shark vacuum mop and this which is Pyrex which is a nice brand I'm actually gonna just park right over here and see open it up and see if there's anything in there that was so scary Whew, I really thought it was gonna be like lost in there for good oh my gosh okay I'm parked <laughs> let me put my tripod back together and then I'll show you we'll look and see if there's anything not broken in the Pyrex box so I think I'm saying it right yeah I think that's right oh my gosh my heart is beating so fast right now okay all right I'm gonna open it up we'll look in there and see if there's anything not broken okay we're gonna look in the box it sounds like a lot of it is broken Okay, for sure it sounds like a lot of it's broken. But, let's see because it might not all be. Okay, um, so it is all broken. You can see the lids are fine, obviously, but everything else is fully in shards. I was thinking maybe the big one wouldn't be broken, but it is. So there we go. Definitely deserves to be in the trash. Um, that's unfortunate, but oh well. I'll take the lids out. People might buy replacement lids for this kind of stuff. Not 100% sure, but I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm not going to take the lids out because all the glass will get everywhere in the car. <laughs> so, okay. Well, we got a vacuum mop that I'm actually kind of excited about. It doesn't come with any of the pads or anything, um, but it is like, it looks like a really nice mop. So, and we got the box for it so I can ship it in that, which is nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. So some broken glass and a mop vacuum. All right, well, there we go. Uh, moving on to some more places. All right, let's see what this one has to offer. Nothing. <laughs> All right. I think I've gone to like the most dumpsters that I've ever gone to in one video and I'm still not finding a ton of stuff, which is crazy. I guess the chips are like the number one. Like that's a lot of food to find, which is fun. But, you know, that's dumpster diving, so you just keep going and hope you find something eventually, which is what we're gonna do. All right, moving on. This is the same store that I was just at, but a different location. So, let's see. There's stuff in this one, too. it was the display
really sure what this one is, but I can hear a lot of stuff in there, so I'm gonna take it. Automatic peeler, or not peeler, but can opener. diffuser We got a bunch of stuff. The car is like really full. Awesome. We got a lot of bathroom stuff. There's like a nice mirror right there. Cool. Hey, that was awesome. That was like the best stop of the day today. So, okay, sweet. We might go to like a couple more places, but this might be it. And then I'll just go home, lay everything out and show you everything that we got. But that was a really good stop right there. That's awesome. Cool, okay. Okay, I made one last stop and I found a cool wicker basket I'm about to get out. Okay. So it is missing one handle, but I actually really like it like to throw blankets in and stuff. That leaf out of there. Cause that's a cute wicker basket. And I don't care that it's missing a handle. So there we go. Quick last stop. And we got a cool wicker basket. All right, not bad. Okay, so I'm home. There's Pilgrim playing in the background. Hi, you wanna play? Do you wanna play? <laughs> good boy, good boy. Drop it. Good boy. Go get <laughs> good boy, good boy. 
<laughs> he's so cute. Okay, so I'll finish playing with him in a second. And I have everything all laid out for you guys. I'm so excited to show you. It's actually like a way better haul than I was thinking that it was. So, okay, here we go. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna start with the stuff that we got from the bed and bath store. So here we go. This is an Ellen DeGeneres table runner and these do still have the red spray paint on them. I actually figured out how to get it off of anything metal and that's just dish soap. That was like the easiest way I've ever found. It's just literally dish soap and a sponge and it came off of all of the metal products. So this is like a really nice shower caddy that we're actually gonna use in our bath. So there's that. This, I'm not really entirely sure what it is, but I kind of think it might be for like spare rolls of toilet paper. So there's that, it's kind of nice. So again, I'm not sure entirely what it is. This can opener, an electric can opener, it had the cord and everything. I was pretty excited about it, but it doesn't seem like it works. It turns on and when you push it, it does try to spin and it makes a noise, but I can't get it to actually open any cans. So I think that this one actually is just broken. There's this tiny, adorable little green pumpkin. It's all sparkly. It has one chip on this side, but other than that, it's perfect. There's a tiny pumpkin. This is pretty cool. Um, I think it's a back massager. These like roll, and I'm guessing that's what it is, maybe for in the shower to massage your back or to clean your feet or something. But there's that, it's brand new. It's kind of dripping because I just washed it. But other than that tiny little spot right there, this was like pretty much covered in red spray paint and dish soap actually got all of it off. So that's really exciting. I've never been able to figure out how to get the red off of these products. So there's the way, dish soap. Um, this is really cute. It's like a little, you know, soap dispenser, but the only problem is this part's wobbly because underneath it is broken. So that part's actually broken, but it still sits there. It's really cute. It still dispenses soap. I mean, there's no soap in there, but it is really pretty. It has like some nice intricate like detailing on it. So that's probably still gonna be totally fine to use. It just is a little bit wobbly whenever, you know, you move this part around. But who does that with soap? Who goes like this? <laughs> so it works perfectly well just to push it. So there's that. These are also Ellen DeGeneres brand. Um, they're really, really cute on this side, but then they're all spray painted on this side. And the dish soap was not working with like fabrics. And so I tried it on this one actually right here and it pretty much just like spread it around. So I don't know how to get it out of fabrics yet, but one side of these is really cute. So they possibly still could be used just like on that side, that'd still be fine. Same with this one, um, it has like a cute side and then it has the side with the red. But there's those, it's so unfortunate that they do that to them. These are really super cute. I don't even know what this is. It might be a table mat also, but there's one, this one's like pretty much perfectly clean, just a little bit of red right there. And then this one, which has a lot of red on it. But again, the underside is totally clean and it's a really nice like neutral color still. So they might still be able to just be used like that. I guess actually this is the only one that has the backside clean. But there's that, they're really pretty. I still really like them and I'm gonna try to wash them, uh, do a bunch of like scrubbing with dish soap and then throw them in the wash and see what happens. This is a really nice curtain, but it also has a lot of red spots on it. I just hate that they do that, I don't get it. But there's that, it's really pretty. And then, oh, you brought a different toy now? You brought a different toy? <laughs> He's so playful today. Hi. Good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> I'm busy though. <laughs> okay, so for the curtain, we got these hooks. These actually might be shower rod hooks, but they're all still in there and they only spray painted the outside of it. So they're fine in there. They're really pretty, they're like classy looking. And then I'm really, really excited about these two. These are both mattress pads for full beds. Um, and we actually have a full in our guest room. So they just have the red spray paint up at the tops of them. This one honestly doesn't even really have very much, just like a little bit. Um, so they're gonna make our 
guest bed a lot comfier. We'll use one and I'll probably try to sell the other one, try to get the red out of it first. But yeah, that one's Thermopedic. And then that one just is like a white one, whatever. It looks nice though. So there's those two. I am really excited about that. Here's this mirror. Hi. <laughs> um, it is broken completely and does not work, but I thought it was pretty. I wanted to display it and show y'all. This is actually like broken off. Um, it's managing to stay in place right now, but it has like the 10 times zoom. Ta-da. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> so there's that. The mirror um, does work, but the stand doesn't light up. And um, yeah, it's just kind of falling apart. It won't stay on its own. So there's that. Oh, well, we got a squeegee. I don't know. Always kind of nice to have a squeegee around. I didn't try to get the red off of this one yet, but it'll come right off. So there's that. I guess that's for the shower. Um, so we can do that with our brand new shower caddy. And then we got this, which is actually really perfect. I'm gonna put this in our kitchen sink. We have one side that isn't a disposal. So yeah, there's that. I guess it pops up. Huh, I don't know why it needs to pop up, but there, it, oh, I guess to clean it. So there's that, that's kind of nice to have. Um, what else? Oh my gosh, well, we got all of these chips. Oh my gosh. This basket is from a previous dive. I actually did find it. And then this is the one I found that only has the one handle. Hi, bud. But all of these are totally full of chips. Like, look at this. I'm just gonna do this. Zoom out. Like, look at all of these chips. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's so many bags of chips. And a lot of them are chicharrones, which I've told y'all before, we really like. A lot of them are tortilla chips, which is great. And then there's like one bag of cheese puffs. But this is seriously, I mean, I need to count actually, because I really wanna know how many bags of chips there are. So, okay, give me one minute and I'm gonna count and then I'll be back. Okay, are you ready for the grand total? 57. 57 bags of chips. <laughs> That's so crazy. So there's all of our chips and the nice basket that we grabbed. Oh my gosh. The chips are my favorite part for sure. A lot of them will get donated, of course, and then we'll keep the rest since we really just love to eat them. And they're so like, I mean, I was gonna say they're so good for you. They're totally not so good for you, but they're carb free basically. See that? Zero carbs. So it's like pork rinds. Yeah, fried pork rinds. So there we go. Um, good little snack. And they expire August 2020, which is not even here yet. August 9th. August 9th. That one's August 17th. So these haven't even expired yet and they just got all tossed. Wow, okay, that's a lot of chips. Zoom back in a little bit. Okay, so 57 bags of chips <laughs> we also got from the bath store. Um, this mop, which I showed earlier, grabbed the box for it just in case. Um, and I don't know if it works or not. It's got some red still on it. Uh, I need to clean that off. But there's the vacuum mop. Kind of cool. Would probably be perfect on like our tile and we have concrete floors. So that's probably going to be good for us. We got three pieces of clothes. This tiny, cute little Santa's little helper shirt. There's that. Um, and then this really cool vest. I mean, this is not my style, but like someone's style is this. And it's super cool. The fur feels real, although I, it's not. I don't think it is. Um, but it's like this like cool, lots of multi like patterned, lots of textures. It's a pretty cool vest, so I'm excited about that one. And then this small little vest as well. I have that red stuff like all over me. Um, so there's that one, and it's probably a kid's size because it's very, very tiny. So we got two vests, the little top. What else did we get? Oh, this fan, which actually Pilgrim's taking advantage of. Um, it was the display one. It says it was originally $45. And all that's wrong with it, other than being covered in uh, red spray paint, is that the base is broken in half. So it doesn't stand up on its own, but I have it just leaned up against this and it is blowing out so cold. It's really nice um, and it is, I don't know, it's got all these different kinds. It can oscillate and everything like that. So turn it up. And 
let Pilgrim just enjoy basking in it. Look at his tail wag. <laughs> so there's the fan. I'm really excited about that. We like to keep our house really cold. So additional fans is always good for us. And then this thing, which I went ahead and put together. It's a wire cube shelving unit. And it, they showed it like this, but I just set it up differently because it was missing a couple pieces. So I have it just four cubes stacked on top of each other. So there's that. It still has a little bit of red, which I need to clean off, but I'm gonna use it for storing stuff out in the garage. So that'll actually be really beneficial for me. It's tall, it's big, it's spacious, and it's a, uh, you know, it shelves. I don't care about the style or color or anything. It's just like organization's always good. So, oh look, you can set it up differently. Oh, that's actually kind of cool too. So I could do this way because I have four of them. So yeah, it can get all moved around and everything, but there's the shelving unit and everything else. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, so lots of good stuff and the chips. Obviously, I'm excited about the chips the most. I love snacks. <laughs> So there it all is. All right, y'all, that is this video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. It wasn't exactly the video that I was expecting it to be. I definitely was hoping to find more at the dollar stores, but you take what you can get, and I think that it's a pretty good haul. So I'm very excited about a few of these items, and yeah, so there we go. Lots of free products that we got in the dumpster and helping rescue stuff out of the landfill. And that is why we dumpster dive. And that's why I love it. <laughs> All this free stuff, like these mattress pads can be pretty expensive. And now we're gonna get to put one on our guest bed. It's gonna be comfier for our friends. And it's just like something that we might not have wanted to buy if we had to actually pay for it. So that's really the main reason that I love dumpster diving, not only to reduce waste, but also because it allows us to live like a more luxurious luxurious life than our budget actually entails but we get like all of this stuff for free and like snacks too like with the chips that saves us money on our groceries so it really is awesome give it a try if you never have before it's so fun and yes I hope that you guys have a super awesome week and I'll see you next time bye